Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Ben here. We've got Armin here as well, the owner of the Electric Evo. We are, or I should say Tesla Evo is formally named. We are just kind of playing around and mocking up the front drive unit here now that we've got the rear end. And I gotta say, I really like what I'm seeing up front for the front unit in comparison to the rear. But in looking at the geometry, you can see where the axle is coming out right here right where the tip of my finger is and where the tip of the boot is, is on the other end of my tip of my finger now you can see we are beautifully lined up with respect to that the only thing we need to be conscious of is of course the angle at which this drive unit needs to be mounted at so Easy. this needs to be mounted in a horizontal position as opposed to on an angle which is how it's currently sitting and yeah actual geometry is looking good already space is good so Next thing he and I are gonna do is we're gonna grab the cherry picker, toss it on that trans jack and start figuring out some mock-up options. And now it's hanging by the cherry picker again. Why did we do this, Armin? Because you're smarter than me? Yes, in some instances, I guess so. I was thinking, you know, I'll just put this thing back on the trans jack, similar to what we did for the rear. And, you know, as we're doing that, Armin's staring at this thing going, you know, this thing is at the right angle sitting on this. And I'm like, shit, you're right, dude. So it's back in the air. We're gonna use the trans or the cherry picker for that matter to help mock this thing up because we have the space we can do that and that's what it's designed for in the front of the vehicle. So, that's off to Armin.
Okay, so as you guys can see, we have this now mocked up in place using the cherry picker as opposed to the trans jack. And it holds it at a fairly decent position. We've got it all lined up with regards to making sure that the rear setup with the axles here has the correct geometry coming down into where the boots are for the front. It's also at the right height. So if I come down here and I look the height of where the axles are coming out in relation to the boots, we've got good geometry there. So Armin had to actually run because he had to go back to work, but uh, he was here to help me get everything where he thinks he likes it along with where I like it. And now at this point, the next step is to start building some mounts so that we can connect this original engine point for this slide up here. So this original engine mount section here, this is where the original engine mount goes on either side. And we're gonna try and use those points to tie in to the mounts here. If you guys are liking this video if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can see not only the previous videos on this playlist but also staying in tune on future notifications of this build as we move forward